yeah, we're on kind of like a knife's edge here, so it's very precarious. Yes. <laughs> it goes straight downhill. <laughs> Le chat. Le chat. Le chat. Good morning, everybody. Day nine. Section nine of trail. Section nine, but I think it's day eight. We are just leaving the sleepy little village of La Sage. We had a very lovely night's stay at the Hotel du La Sage. Caroline loved it a lot. My favorite place. It was her favorite. So kind there, and they even let a small group of us five hikers like help ourselves to breakfast this morning and like go in the fridge and all that, which is, I feel very generous. So we got all fueled up the best we could. They did forget to put coffee in the coffee machine, so we didn't know where it was. <laughs> so, uh, this hike is sponsored by Orange Juice this morning, but we're doing the best we can, hiking straight up this driveway out yeah. of town. Yeah. <laughs> so we got seven miles, seven and a half to go today, just about, about but like 5,000 feet of gain. Yes, 5,000 feet. Um, because we've been really low in the valley. Check out this rock right now. Look at this ledge. Wow. It's gorgeous. So, I would like to come back to Hotel du Lesage. Beautiful place. Just stunning. We had the most lovely little balcony and this little, little village tucked right into the Swiss countryside. Oh, so magnificent. I wish we had another day there, but the trail is calling, the mountains are speaking to us, and it's 6.30 in the morning on your honeymoon. But if you want to play hard on your honeymoon, you got to work hard on your honeymoon. Yes, this is our earliest start on our maple sun. Yesterday was just brutally hot absolute boiler and uh, we were just having none of it so we decided to wake up at the crack of dawn I was kind of excited to be able to use my headlamp but the sun came out and I don't think we'll actually need it it's probably a good thing but I haven't had to use that thing at all this trip but uh yeah it's oh it's so nice and cool this morning and uh Great magnifique. yeah and we're hoping to get to uh, Cabane de Mori, maybe around two o'clock, right around the hottest part of the day. But if we can end by then, not have to hike through all that heat, we will be happy not to, so.
kind of looks like old man of the mountain right here. You can kind of make out like a nose and, and a forehead. Yeah, there he is. It's the Swiss man of the mountain. Watching over his herd of cows. Almost up to the coal. Cold and tasty. Gang gang. <laughs> We're gonna have a tasty snack when we get up there. Hardest climb of my life. Oh my goodness. Thought the coal was way back there. And then we got over the crest of it. Turns out the coal's way up there. There's the marmots saying hello. And it was a false coal. I hate those. You know, the marms are out and about. Maybe we'll be lucky and see an ibex today. You guys, <laughs> that was the hardest climb of my life. No coffee, like barely empty stomach. Uh, we went three and a half miles and 4,050 feet uh, in about three hours. And it was nonstop Crazy. climbing. It was, it was absolutely insane. My soul has left my body, but boy, this view has reinserted it back in. Take a look. Yeah, we're on kind of like a knife's edge here, so it's very precarious. Yes. <laughs> it goes straight downhill, uh, standing here. We got really, really lucky with the sun. Um, we were in the shade the whole climb with the way the sun was coming up behind the mountain and the mountain was shading us perfectly and we have some friends uh eagle and blue who started 20 minutes behind us and it worked out that the sun was just coming into their view and so they've been in the sun for at least an hour now but we managed to be fully shaded from 6 30 to 9 30 a.m so we are so grateful and as soon as we got up to the cold to tasty the sun has <laughs> greeted us it's gonna be a tasty call. <laughs> it's gonna be tasty. Because we have a lot of food to eat. Oh yeah, we have, we were so smart you guys. We have fresh bread, we have blue cheese, tomatoes, pickles, olives, and prosciutto. I don't think it gets any better than that. Prosciutto. We're gonna eat it all right now because we're starving. Literally on fumes climbing up this thing. But... Oh, oh, oh. 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 Don't fall, oh. don't fall. There's nowhere to sit, there's no oh. good place. Put your pad down. It's just a knife's edge. It's so pointy everywhere. There's nowhere to go. But, oh, no. I feel so alive! Woo! Three. Let's eat at Col du Tasty!
The sun. The sun. <laughs> it's impossible to escape. <laughs> Put this thing up with trekking poles and and my sun shirt. But it only blocks out so much. I'm using <laughs> Caroline's pack <laughs> to get this keep the sun off my legs. <laughs> It's just so hard, so, so exposed. <laughs> trees. Trees. Where are the trees? <laughs> Not here. The lack's beautiful though. We wanted to swim, but there's a bunch of cows above us, and there's like yellow splotches in the in the sand in the yeah. lack so it's probably best not to go in it try not to swim in cow pee you probably shouldn't i almost drank it but yeah. we're good we're good we're almost out of water too we're almost to the hut we'll yeah make it. it's a mile and a half straight up so that's that's great we're resting up before it it's Trying only to. 12 o'clock and we're basically done for the day yeah, it's the um, quickest end to the day, but yeah, now it's, the sun's really starting to come out. Ah. Mm. So this is our way we're going tomorrow. We just came up right here and our stay for the night is all the way up here. So a pretty decent blue blaze that we have to climb and then tomorrow we have to come back down here and that way so but at least the hut has snacks and frosty cold beverages because the little uh, snack hut on the lock was closed there was a whole like RV park type of deal there so we were hoping for some some in the way of amenities but it was closed down, so we will be enjoying frosty cold beverages as soon as we climb this big mountain. I hate the cows. They're contaminating everything. There's all this water, but I can't drink it. Yeah, we're very thirsty. I hate the cows so much right now. Oh. Cabane de Mori and we hung out with Laurel and Nick, a really sweet older couple who are doing the oat route for their second time. They're our roommates. Too. They're our roommates and they are just lovely. So we are here enjoying this very awesome view in the background. Yes. And the yeah. The baking ball of fire. The baking us. ball of fire is blasting us, but dinner is in an hour and we're gonna just settle in and call it a night. But thanks so much for joining us and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a smashing day. We're gonna take uh, maybe a cable car down. It might be a little cheeky. So, uh, so. yeah, I think we've, we've earned it. Mostly descent tomorrow. We're just gonna avoid a few of the down switchbacks. So, yes, yes. but yes, we're looking forward to it. And until then, bonne nuit.